Hi, I'm David James, a software developer at Sunlight Labs. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the National Data Catalog. Open data is a key aspect of open government. This is why more and more governments are publishing their data online. However, there is no central place to find this data. The National Data Catalog is the first place you want to go to find government data sets. Our mission is to catalog all data sets that are by or about the United States government. When we say government, we mean all levels, federal, state, and local, and branches, legislative, executive, and judicial. No single government entity will be able to build such a catalog, since the separation of powers between branches and among agencies would hamper such an effort. That's why we're doing it here at Sunlight. At the National Data Catalog, you can find all the government data sets you want in one place. So, this is the introductory screen. Once you log in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. Your dashboard shows you your favorite data sets. And I wanted to start us off with an example showing how you search for data sets. It's real easy. You just go up to the top right and you type in the keyword you're looking for. In this case, we're going to search for crime. We can roll through the list and see uh, data sets that come from many jurisdictions. Let's look at this crime incidents data set from the District of Columbia. You can see that it's got um, a description. It also has some metadata that tells you the government agency that's responsible for the data. Um, and it also has downloads available so you can go actually look at the underlying data. So let's click at the map view. You can see it opened up a Google map uh, showing crime incidents geotagged by location. Okay, I also wanted to show an example of how you can take a look at tabular data and open it up in Microsoft Excel. So we type in economic and search. Let's take a look at state and county historical economic data uh, from the state of Utah about residential building permits. Um, we can see here that we have an Excel file for download. We just click the link. Um, we're going to save the file onto our uh, computer. Now we're going to open up the file with Microsoft Excel. And you can see here that we have, for the state of Utah, residential permits between 1980 and 2006 um, grouped by city. The National Data Catalog not only tells you metadata about your data sets, but it also builds communities around the data sets. It's a place for discussion about the government data. One way you can uh, discuss the data is through comments. So here we're going to take a look at trends in international mathematics and science study. You can see that uh, one of our early adopters, Rich, had posted a comment telling users to be on the lookout that, it, that this data file looks like a CSV, but it's actually a little bit different. So this is a great way that he's given back to the community so that they can uh, be on the lookout for this problem. Another way that the community can get involved is through community documentation. So the District of Columbia uh, has a 311 service, and they make their service requests available publicly. So in this case, if you click on the Community Documentation tab, you'll see that um, I've added some column information. Um, and I found that when I was working with this data set, um, Apple's numbers application uh, made a certain column look a little bit uh, misformatted, so I just jotted that information down so other people could be aware of that. The last feature I'd like to show is how easy it is to suggest data to our curation team here at the National Data Catalog. Um, let's say that you're from San Francisco and you don't see your data catalog being imported yet into the National Data Catalog. You can just tell us about it. We hope you enjoy the National Data Catalog. Please try out the site and let us know what you think.